What's up guys? Welcome to another Build a Break Garage episode. Uh, this is day two on working on the daily ratty car. I just got back from picking up breakfast and I took the red sled out and it was my first time getting caught in the rain with the new tires on the back and oh my god, it is so much safer now. Like, it feels planted, it feels like a normal car should. I wasn't all sketching around the back, uh, sketching around the back end of it. It's like perfect, thank God. So that's fixed. Since it is gonna be raining a little bit, I'm gonna leave Midori in the garage. I'm gonna move the 240 and then get the ratty car in here, and we'll start working on the body kit and getting everything zip stitched back together from the accident. So let's get to work. Okay, got the cars uh, jockeyed around for position. Uh, I got the rat in the garage. Uh, now I rip off the front bumper and get the body kit one to try to start fitting. So fingers crossed this doesn't go horribly. I just have a feeling this isn't gonna go good. Yeah, we'll find out. Well, I got the bumper backed up. Uh, it is going to need some zip stitching to hold it onto the car. Luckily, I've already got plenty of holes here, but I'm going to have to zip stitch it together. That's not really a big deal. Uh, this side actually fits pretty decently. I'm still going to use a zip tie on it to hold it in. Um, yeah, now I just started doing the zip tie thing. So, luckily, I got some zip ties from Harbor Freight yesterday. We have a bunch of different colors to play with. So, let's get this stuff zipped on. got that bumper all zip tied on and it's not going anywhere at least I hope not I got four zip ties on this fender and then I got one zip tie two zip ties technically holding on this side so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change out the idler control valve so I can get the hood closed and then I have to lift the car up and cut the fender liner on the driver's side because it's currently down and there's nothing to attach to on this bumper so I'm just gonna cut it off and then the next thing that I'm doing is I gotta fix this side skirt. Um, I gotta zip stitch all this back together. I got screwed up in the accident that happened before the accident. If you remember uh, what happened to the turbo car before its ultimate demise. I might get this zip stitched up and uh, we'll hopefully get it on the car today and then that should be it. I'm not doing the rear lip today because I have to get the exhaust fixed first and I want to make sure that they put the exhaust right when I get the rear lip put on. So that's why I'm not doing that today. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Just like that, I got the side skirt zip stitch back together. Pretty decently strong for the most part, but uh, I got it pretty much reinforced everywhere that it was broke. So now to get it on the car and see how it looks. And got the side skirt on the passenger side. Uh, did not want to go on for some reason. Uh, none of the original holes lined up, so I ended up just riveting it on. She's sturdy, she ain't going nowhere. It looks pretty cool with the zip stitch and everything. So now I'm gonna scoot the car over, get the driver's side one on, and then that'll be a wrap for today. Well, 
I got the driver's side side skirt on. I also had to rivet it onto the car, so it's definitely not going anywhere. That's the finished product after today. Not too bad. I just uh, gotta do the rear lip later once I get the exhaust fixed. That is all for today, I'm pretty whooped. The next thing we're gonna do in the next video is the trunk lid and the rear lip. But be on the lookout for that. It might be in about a week. I gotta see when I fix the exhaust. So be sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace.